first year of engineering is one of the most important time of your graduation and in this video I am going to tell you 5 things that you must do in your first year of your graduation to make the best out of it. Coming up. So congratulations for choosing engineering. It does not matter if you come from computer science, mechanical or civil engineering or maybe electrical. Whatever I'm going to tell you today applies on all the engineering streams. Also, it does not matter if you don't come from engineering background or if you have not opted for engineering. If you are just a graduation student who is in first year and I believe you have completed your first month of your graduation, then I must suggest that if you follow these five rules in your first year of your graduation, you are really going to make the best out of it. So, the first tip. Make very good relations with professors and your seniors. This might sound very different, but it is very, very important. Remember that your seniors are the one who were at the same phase exactly some years back where you are right now. So they can really guide you on how you can make the best out of your first year for graduation. They can tell you from where to get the notes, which book to take from the library, uh, which lectures should you bunk, how many lectures you should be attending, what are the different uh, cultural fests and technical fests in the college. So in a way, your seniors know almost all in and out of the college and they can really help you out. So make sure you make a very good relation with your seniors. Second, when I say making a relation with the professor, remember you are in a college now and you are not in a school. Your personal relation with the professor really impresses your grades. If you are not attending lectures regularly, but if your professors know that you're doing something different from the curriculum and you're going somewhere, you're going learning some different things, your professor may consider it and may give you some attendance or may give you even some good marks in the internal. So making a relation with seniors and professors is something that is going to help you not in your only in your graduation but even when you go and work in a company. Make good relations with your fellow employees, make good relations with your friends and professors and this is really going to help you out. Second tip, make sure that you do summer internship. Now you're in August, it's I guess first month of your graduation. Once you complete your first year, probably when you give the exams in the month of April or May, June and July is the month where you do internships. Now when I say summer internship is actually means the training. Now if you come from computer science background, you might want to go for some training for Angular or maybe IoT or maybe machine learning, maybe Python. If you come from civil and mechanical engineering, you might want to go for AutoCAD or maybe any other uh, topics that belongs to your field. And this training for two months is really, really important as this will teach you something different than what you have been learning in past one year. And the certificates and the projects that you're making in this, in this internship, you can actually write in your resume, which is going to help you out in the placements. Third point, learn more than just the syllabus of the college. Now what I mean to say is, doing summer internship is totally fine. I mean you are going to do that after 12 months or I should say after 10 or 9 months when you are watching this video, right? But what if all those 10 to 11 months, what are you going to do that? See, in your engineering, you are going to get many many internal exams and they are going to get many practicals and then they will be semester exams. In a year, you might be giving something around 30 to 35 exams. That is going to take you a lot of time and will not, and you won't get much time to learn many things. Okay, you'll only get stuck to the syllabus. But make sure that these times are very, very important. You cannot just wait for one year and do summer internship and rest of the year you just sit back and do the college syllabus. So remember, we all have access to the internet. Even if you are watching this video, you are making a difference for your own, right? You have made an effort, you are watching this video. So just go to the YouTube, go to some different blogs, there are many tutorials out there. Start learning C language, start learning AutoCAD, start learning Angular, whatever you want. Take the help of YouTube, take the help of internet and start learning it right now and right today. Decide it and just complete it. Don't wait for summer internship or don't give yourself a reason that their exams coming, their internals of their assignment. They're always going to be assignment and exams. 
okay and they're never going to go you need to make sure that time that you get even if you're traveling in bus even if you're traveling in metro use the internet and save your time and make the best out of it fourth point now this sounds a little uh, funny but uh, i think it is very very important is that you clear all your subjects in your first year i mean you should not have any backlogs or you should not have any re or i should say you should not fail in any of the subjects in your first year for graduation remember that no matter you opt for computer science mechanical engineering electrical engineering you are going to study the blend of all the streams in first year for graduation you are going to study maths physics chemistry electrical engineering mechanical engineering uh, and many other stuff okay so first year for graduation is very very important if you can clear all the subjects at a time it will be very easy for you to pass the phase of second year third year and final year because they get a little easy as you get to study the subjects of your stream whereas first year involves complex mathematics physics which uh, you have studied in plus 2 but uh, i'm sure you're not going to be that serious the way you were in your uh, school right so make sure that you clear all subjects in your first year for graduation because it gets a little tough to give a exam after one year especially the first year subjects so make sure you clear it and even if you don't don't mind take things positively uh, make if you fail take it as uh, you get a second chance to improve your marks that's how like i can motivate you but uh, my first advice is to clear your all subjects especially the first year subjects in the very first attempt fifth and the last and one of the most important thing that you should take from this video is make a profile on linkedin you all have accounts on facebook instagram snapchat and some of you might even have on twitter but linkedin is a platform that is entirely for professionals if you go over there and create your profile it's so really free of cost you can write down the certifications you have done you can write down the workshop and seminars that you have attended it is almost like a social media for the professionals where you can actually use to showcase what you have been doing in your professional life remember engineering is a professional degree course and you should be professional with your skills okay so if if you have uh, uh, learned java or if you have learned autocad you can just write in your linkedin that you have learned you have all these skills and done the certification which many companies at the time of getting a job will ask you your linkedin profile and would like to go through it so if you start maintaining your linkedin profile from the very first year and if you start building very good relations uh, it is really going to help you out in your entire career okay that is something is very very important now i don't end it here i have something uh, uh, i am an engineer myself and i have done my four years of graduation i know all this four years you're going to be distracted a lot with your college fairs uh, cultural fairs technical fairs i suggest you to go and attend them be an, a very active part of it because it is very very important part of your college life once it is gone it is not going to come back so so enjoy the most uh, have fun but make sure that if this four years are not going to come back for your fun this four years also not going to come back to make your career once again so uh, get serious when it comes to test study get serious and when, when it comes to uh, enjoying enjoy the most okay and uh, spend time with your friends and families uh, make relations with your seniors and professors and uh, all the best for engineering if you have any more suggestions that you think you should be doing in your first year for graduation write down in the comment section below i would love to read it and uh, that's all from my side in this video thank you so much for watching the uh, video till here my name is stephen simon i upload videos on every monday wednesday and friday till i upload videos next time see you.